right guys pleasant pleasant morning welcome back to yard style fishing adventure now this morning the water is very nice and calm um the visibility we're not sure about the visibility yet but we are going to check it out right now it is a beautiful day here in jamaica see i'm walking through a small little forest right now to get out to the beach front so um catch you when i get there all right okay guys so right now as you can see we're out on the beach front right now water looking good so far the visibility now look like a hundred percent kind of a little bit white as far as we may see right now from here so when we get in there we probably see a little bit of whiteness but it look all right and yeah it look good and we just have a good feeling that today is going to be a great day people today is going to be a great day so when we get in there hopefully we find something nice at least if I have one fish and um, you out here today me and NASA links and see DNA there yeah. step through so NASA links now they're not spear fishing today you might go um, dive with a tank and get some clip and thing for him other channel original living um, me I go drop him link in the description so you can go check out that right so yeah guys me I go go back out of the car now get suit up and thing and jump back into the water, alright? So, catch you in the water. Alright guys, so this is my first dive. See a lot of surgeon fish right here. Now in the school of surgeon fish I saw a grunt. Took a shot and missed that one as well. Like today is a missing day for me. Now here I am taking another dive at a huge school of surgeon fish mixed with parrot fish and blue tanks blue ones we call blue doctors here and um, as I was looking at this school I saw a barracuda swim by a small one I took a shot at this barracuda and missed again here I have one of the blue doctors on my spear as I decided I have to shoot something to see if this gun is working properly. Now over here that's a needle fish we call him long jaw. Nice size one but it's swimming out of range. Now right here this fish we're looking at is a flying gurnard never seen anyone eating them before so if you have ever eaten one of these or if you know if people eat them just drop a comment yeah man just drop it in the comment section Right here, this eagle ray is trying to defend its territory. Thinks that I'm here to take over its territory, so he's 
warning me off. It keeps coming back, it's not going away. <laughs> Each time it goes around, it keeps coming back. And you can see that is it's angry. This time it decided on leaving, so I guess I win the territory. Here's another beautiful reef right here. A lot of surgeon fish. Brown ones, blue ones. Well nice right here peeps. Right here you can see that a lot of fish are chilling out around these helicorn coral. That one broke off like when the sea get rough and the waves coming in because it's shallow water right here. Then um, break that one off. Yeah, but in the other one, it's healthy, perfectly fine, not broken. A lot of fish swimming around and live inside it as well. Fish use it for hiding. A Right here we see another flying Gernard on the bottom of the water right there, about 30 feet down. guys the water was nice and calm right through the visibility was about 75 percent even though my camera died halfway in the dive i only brought one battery but i managed to find one nice fish all right guys so welcome back as you can see reach woman all of that now unfortunately the camera died while i was in the water while i was diving so I didn't get a chance and I only brought um, one battery with me today um, so I didn't get a chance to um, catch the, the footage of the last um, fish that I, I find and um, the clean up process so right now I'm there home we're going to jump into the kitchen I'm going to show you what I catch right now and then we're going to do a cook up alright so stay tuned alright guys welcome to the kitchen this is the catch of the day um, right here we have a nice red tail snapper Yeah man that one the nice um, We have a doctor fish Some of you may know it as blue tongue And we have a snaker we call that one a stinging grouper So yeah guys I'm going to do a cook up right now on the snapper And I'm going to leave the other two for another day Because um, I think we are going to eat off all of that so just a go deal with the snapper today, alright guys? So, feel like I'm going to steam down the snapper here with some okra and thing. And um, some mashed potato on the side, alright? So, stay tuned for that, guys. Alright guys, so, I'm going to cut off the tail and then we can part up on the fish right now. Clean them up, then I'm going to cut up some vegetable and thing. You know what I say? Get the ball a roll, alright? 
Yeah, guys, we buy my cutting board. Remember, did I tell you that the last time I cook here? So, so I go buy my cutting board. Finally, buy it. Make things more easier, you know. Easier to deal with. I use one like one scissors and clip up the fish and thing but so I go and work with the knife and now yard man style you know hey guys so see it there nice little snapper get him on the fire now and thing yeah couple slices as well One, two, three. give two nice little slices on each side so seasoning and thing can soak in it all right so yeah all right guys so right now we are going to add um, some seasoning to this little bit of water right here. That's a uh, Maggi cube right there. So some Maggi seasoning as well. All right. All right, so now we are going to add the vegetables them to the pot. So Irish, we are going to put in some Irish. We are going to put in the carrot them. The onion them along with the green onion that's the scallion so we are putting all of that in the pot right now guys there you go now we are going to leave the, the tomato and the okra we are going to leave that for last yeah we are going to put the pepper in there now as well yes yeah. yeah, so that's one of the pepper from half of the tree in the backyard I you know we don't really want the fish get too much cook, you know, so we have to cook them here a little bit before we actually add the fish to it. Alright guys? Yeah, so looking good so far. Alright guys, so we just have to lightly add some seasoning to the fish. Not a lot. Some in our belly as well, just a little bit, not a lot. Right, yeah. Alright guys, so as you can see, these are already cooked, so we are going to add the fish to it right now and make it go and steam down for a bit. So here we go. Yeah, looking good. We use a spoon now and take up some of the juice and pour over the top of it. So we can actually get the flavor on the other side as well because um we're not gonna we're not gonna flip it over. We'll let it cook on one side and eventually at the end you see that both sides are evenly cooked, alright? Alright guys, so we are going to pour some more of the juice over it so we can get that side here if we cook nice as well as the other side. You can see the colors them nice in it already and we don't add the okra and the tomato to it as yet. So you can imagine how it's going to look when we actually add those. And you can see it has steam slowly right there so people slow steam okay, guys so we are going to add some um, grey cock soup mix to it as well that will give it a wicked flavor alright so um, we are going to sieve it 
because we're not going to use the noodles them we just are going to use the seasoning we're inside the pack all right so here we go all right so that's how we do it guys all over the fish and in this sauce as well yeah this grey cock soup mix always give give your pot a nice flavor alright so sieve a little bit more on it alright that's it so now we're gonna use a spoon to spread this pour some over the fish as well pour some more juice over the fish spread that Look at that guys Nice okay guys, so we are getting close to the finished product Alright guys, so we are going to add the last set of ingredients to it now Some scallion right there And thyme, scallion and thyme Nice flavor as well. Then you know we have the bad boy okra go dropping it right now. And some tomato. And watch the colors now guys. Bring out the color in it right now. Like real pretty. Um, look at that. Looks good. Yep. So guys we'll make this steam down for another two to three minutes and then we should be good to go. Alright now people so but Lanya now and we go everything look good. So we're just waiting on the potatoes. I'm gonna make some mashed potato and thing and then put it on the plate and make you see what I go on. Alright, so this are the finished product for the fish people. Alright now guys, so the Irish them ready, you can see them just come out of the pot steaming and all of that And when you make them um, the mashed potato, this is how you want it, you want to crush them when they are hot Because we are going to add some butter to it as well, so you need the heat to melt the butter, alright So, here we go, we going to add some butter to it Alright Then we're gonna crush. You can see the steam coming out, guys. Wait for the finished product. The butter actually make it taste nice and smooth, you know. Potato Jamaican style, the yeah, peeps look good. All right, guys, so see it there, nice and smooth. So, that is gonna be the side for the fish. Looking good, peeps. See there, mashed potato. All right, guys, so see the finished product here right now. Looking good, fish look nice over there. So, yeah, peeps, see there, it's a nice snapper right there. Red tail in a plate right now, mashed potato. Yeah, peeps, so right now, I'm gonna dive in at this right now. So, just want to say thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell peep so as soon as I post a video then you can be notified. Alright so 
once again thank you for watching yard style fishing adventure hope you enjoyed this adventure and see you on the next one all right